So, one of my favorite fighting games of all times has always been Mortal Kombat. I played the original game back when I was a kid, and I've had it on an Amiga 500 of all things. But still, even though it got censored for the violence on most consoles, the Amiga 500 had all the blood. <laughs> I love the game, man. So back when Mortal Kombat 2 released, I actually played that on an original arcade machine. It was a small pizza joint who just happened to have an arcade machine and it was Mortal Kombat 2 and I fed that thing with coins. I would just spend all my time there using up all my coins because the sound was just so amazing on a real arcade cabinet. And still to this day my big dream is to own the original Mortal Kombat 2 arcade cabinet. I just it, it had I just have the place perfect place that I need to put it. So yeah. I'm gonna make that happen. But of course the thing that dropped me in as a kid was the gruesome fatalities. And Mortal Kombat 2 actually has most uh, actually has the most violent fatalities of any of the Mortal Kombat games in my opinion. Because everything was used for real people to model the characters after, so it was much more real and shocking back then than it is with the newer um, Mortal Kombat games like 10 and 9 and so forth, 11, because there it's more, you know, animated. But back then, it was much more real. So I compiled a top 5 of the gruesome fatalities that I could find that shocked me as a kid and still to this day make my stomach turn. So guys, these are the top 5 most gruesome Mortal Kombat 2 fatalities. Fatality. Kombat 2 introduced Melina, and what an entrance! Two sides and she just completely slaughters the opponent. There was so much blood on this. It was gruesome, it was awesome. Number 5, Melina's side fatality. Finish him. Baraka, the character with the most awesome name in the whole Mortal Kombat franchise, has incorporated swords into his arms, stick him through the opponent, and just leaves him hanging, staring straight into Baraka's evil eyes. Number four, Baraka's hang fatality. Finish him. Now Jax was actually one of my least favorite characters, but he has one of my favorite gruesome fatalities. This speaks for itself, pulls off his arms, lets him bleed to death. How cruel is that? Number 3, Jax arm rip fatality. Finish him. I mean, can it get any more gruesome than this? Kung Lao's habit fatality really made my stomach turn as a kid, and it still does to this day. Rips the opponent in half sideways with the sharp blades on his half. That is just brutal, man. Kung Lao number two with the hat slice fatality. Let's finish it. I mean, do I even need to tell you why this one is number one? The Pit 2. Knocks him off the bridge, he just falls down on concrete floor. It does not get any more cruel than this. Pit 2, number one, gruesome fatality in Mortal Kombat 2. Alright guys, this was my top 5 most gruesome fatalities in Mortal Kombat 2. I would love to know in the comment section what your most gruesome fatalities is for Mortal Kombat 2. Let me know and thank you so much for watching.
fatality. <laughs>